The scriptures say the earth abide forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Heaven and earth, the rulership of now in this kingdom. Oh, now I know why it does that, because it's going into the next part of the video. So there's got to be a, a two-part video. Yeah. Um, so heaven and earth uh, shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Meaning Yahweh's words are going to live all the way into the kingdom. All right? To, to govern the earth in, in its proper order. All right? That's how you know that the, the, the word of the Lord is going to be still continue in a, in a, okay, in a new heavens and a new earth. Yes. Yeah. We're going to still know? be fulfilling the word even in the kingdom. Right. Speaks about us ruling and judging the nation. And also covenant means an agreement. Only the Israelites came underneath an oath and agreement with the Heavenly Father. You never hear an agreement made by other nations. All right? And, it, and if it did mention something like that, they broke the brotherly covenant. Yeah. You know? Unless I agreed to put them in slavery. That's and it agreed to, to kill a ass. Yeah, that's it. Put them in slavery. Put them underneath chains. Like it says in Psalms 149. And the most high he's fair to, he gave him a chance to rule. And, yeah, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. That's right. another precept that the Most High gave everybody a chance to rule. Yeah, gave them when they lied, they portioned. When have at forty years of peace wasn't a real rulership? That's yeah. not a real rulership because even Solomon said he counted it all like it was, it was vexation of spirit. It didn't mean nothing. Right. So y'all great as the kingdom gonna be? Yeah. If Solomon like all his gold, That's why all like his Yahweh women, said, a greater than Solomon is here. Yeah, now he has that full understanding. Yep, he knows what's gonna come. That's why he didn't uh, oh, bow man. to Satan. That's why he yeah. didn't fail. What he had to go through. Yep. Because yes. he knew something better is coming. Yeah, because during the, um, the Roman Empire, um, you had the disciples that, that um, pointed at the temp uh, uh, a temple. Uh, I think it was the, uh, built by Herod. I was reading this in a New Testament and Antiquity book I had. And um, it was built by Herod. And um, the disciples uh, told Yahweh Shah, look at this right here. And Yahweh Shah said, he's going he to knock this down. Right, yeah. That was a, a, a temple that Herod built and a lot of fake Israelites we're into that stuff. They have party venues at that particular time on the seacoast of uh, Caesarea. I think Maritime or Philippi, but it's a lot here. But um, we had a sea a seaport where Herod built a, a party venue. We pretty much for sell out Israelites. What is Chief Ephraim all of them doing now? Nay, Satan and all of them. Right, and the Lord ain't bad out of Satan. When I think it's Matthew's four, he ain't bad out of Satan. He rebuked Satan and said, "Look," and he said, uh, "Render unto Caesar what Caesar's." Okay, so who's in the scripture? Like he pretty much um, cut cut every temptation coming against him, right? Because he already knew what his purpose, what he, he, who we had to come for, yeah. all right? And what we have to be in that same like mind too. Rebuke everything that comes against the truth. Yeah, if you try to like someone try to come to you to sell out. So no, no A matter Judas purpose. Yeah, ain't no amount of money gonna compare to what the Most High God promised us. Right. Especially all the fucking FRNs, man. You really gonna it, sell up as an FRN? It, it don't mean nothing. Yeah, the minute you sell, then a chip up for that. And you were talking about doing that video too, that that spiritual. Um, I, even though I don't like that word billionaire, but yeah, I understand yeah. exactly what you meant. Spiritual riches, basically. Spiritual riches that are so uh, uh, these these spiritual riches are so above anything that anyone on the surf possesses. Right. PhDs. Or whatever type of worldly wisdom you have, it don't compare to this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding the wisdom of the of Bible. This, is, you know, this world is foolishness. Right. Yep. Yeah. Con. Yep. Yeah. Let he in this world um, uh, see, think himself that, that he's wise. Let him become a fool that he might be wise. <laughs> Maybe you got you got to unlearn everything you uh, yeah. Yeah. smell yeah. like Jake's smoke or something down there, huh? Yeah, nice while last. <laughs> I mean, you got any. Uh, yeah, Khan, now nah, we could have went to Deuteronomy 4 about the law, statutes, commandments. I can get it. Deuteronomy 4. Yeah, we can end it off with that. In, in the sight of the nations, uh, you can just go right to the point. I think it's Deuteronomy 4, uh, 4 and the first few verses. So start at the top. Yeah, you can do that. Deuteronomy uh, 4 and 1. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. O Israel, the Israelites, once again. For to you, for to for to do them that ye may live and go and possess the land which the Lord your power, which the Lord power of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. Right? Nor neither shall ye diminish aught from it. See, that's how you know you gotta be in the spirit. You can't diminish from the word. 
You know what I mean? You can't diminish from this. You got to keep on, uh, you rehearse the righteous acts and fill yourself. And the scriptures say too, uh, let the word of Amashach Yahweh Shah dwell in you richly. And when you look at that word richly, that ties in with the video you want to do too. Uh, richly, it means to have the, uh, possess the spiritual riches. Like abundantly. Yeah. Abundantly, exactly. Yeah. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your power, which I command you. Your right. eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. Right, them false gods. For all the men that follow Baal Peor, the Lord thy power have destroyed them from among you. Right, because our yeah. people were going off. Yeah. But ye did cleave unto the Lord your power are alive and every one of you this day. <laughs> Behold, I have taught you, verse 5, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments even as the Lord my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land which ye go to possess. So you're showing that Moses was a mediator. Right. All right. Just like Yahweh Shah uh, gave us that comforter. All right. That's teaching us. And, and the spirit in all things is it, teaching us. All right. You know, so that's how you know you need teachers that have that, that, that Holy Spirit dwelling in them. It says uh, verse 6, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. See, the other nations are insignificant. We could have got so many scriptures pertaining to the other nations being insignificant, yeah, right? Whole other video, right? Yep. We shall hear all these statues and say, surely this is a great nation. Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right, and guess what? They're looking at us now like we're wise and understanding people because we have this truth. You don't think when them Edomites walk by us, you don't think they're thinking in their mind like, these are the people that we put in slavery. You don't think they they, they have that running in their mind? Yeah. You know, I guarantee you, they can't sleep good at night without thinking of that. They can't. You, why do you think vocab alone always got to come at the apostles and other brothers or just Israelites in general? Because you can't sleep well. The ultimate cut is going to be when those same men are delivered. Right. Like, you know, Wisdom and Sovereign Five, they, uh, they're like, man, these are the guys. Hey, I, I was going to tell you to do that in person. Hey, just, to, just for laughs and giggles, man, to mock these damn demons, man. And, uh, what's what's the name? Um, uh, <laughs> nah, yeah. Well, oh, those are not chariots. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just... He was confounded when he saw the damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah G-Man was scared. Yeah, damn G-Man. Oh, what was that? So, uh, oh, yeah, verse 7. For what nation is there so great? Who we'll have the Definitely. most high so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for. Right. So one nation has these uh this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Not only that, one nation has these law statutes and commandments. No other nation on this earth. We're gonna end it off with that. Yeah. I say so this is gonna be a part two. I right, do a part one and it's gonna be a part two right here. Uh the part one is done, this is a part two. So, uh, Lord willing, it was edifying, but the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, only the Hebrew Israelites. That's right. All right? So, only the this time. and only the elect is time for the water. I, only the elect at this time, because all Israelites are not acting like they right. should be acting. All right? Well, you can't say that because the Lord put a spirit in them to be bug outs and, and struck with madness. Them. And he blinded them. So, um, yeah, but with that, man, Lord willing, it was edifying. We are facing the East already. Lord willing, it was edifying, man. But with that, man, giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kapodash. Double line style, Ella's in the apostles, a great millstone. Beyond the title, okay? To all the faithful locking throughout the four corners of the earth. Keep pushing. Shalom.